Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I can ask myself ever since I was told I was to receive this award, which was, why me? I reached for the Holy Book for answers. Now, as a Southerner, you have to realize when I say the Holy Book, of course, I ain't gone with the wind. <laughs> born with the wind, the most racist and the most slave uplifting book or literature that has ever been written or made in our history. Lewis really single-handedly decided to stand up and save that beach on behalf of the Bahamian public. That was indeed a grassroots movement. And save that beach on behalf of the Bahamian public. It was going to be a high intensity development that would shut off the beach from the thousands, tens of thousands of people, of native Bahamians who use that beach. It would have also destroyed probably one of the best known coral reefs in the world. protected forever on behalf of the people of the Bahamas, but also the birds and the wildlife. This is the pathway that our ancestors took into slavery that led into freedom. This is sacred soil, no question about that. We will not surrender our history to that man called Lewis Bacon. I have made it very clear that I believe Mr. Bacon is a liar because I was there during the fight 14 years ago and he was not there. He certainly did not lead me. If you go to the Bahamian Historical Society, you do not see anything about Clifton. How can you talk about a historical society and you have nothing about what black Bahamians did in this country? I want the historical society to tell his story, his story. Lewis Bacon, and if you watching, listening, or don't know me, you are a liar. Nothing that you said was the truth about your being the leader. Why would he want to go to the Audubon after I went to UNESCO and got it recognized as a World Heritage Site?
Lewis recently acquired Orton Plantation in his native North Carolina. Built by his forebearer, Roger Moore, in 1725. So he spoke to his ancestry. We're speaking to us. Lewis Bacon, you are a liar. Mr. Bacon is a liar. When I say the Holy Book, of course, I ain't gone with the wind. <laughs> and you certainly will be yes. gone with the wind. <laughs> We begin tonight with one of the biggest Wall Street insider trading cases ever. At a time when many Americans were losing their 401ks, prosecutors say was leaking secret corporate information to a hedge fund tycoon so that that tycoon's fund wouldn't suffer the same fate. It was in a perfect position to do that inside the boardrooms of some of the country's biggest corporations. The result, prosecutors say, was that the hedge fund made millions while ordinary Americans got soaked. A rare look inside the secret world of the KKK. And it may surprise you who's among their ranks. I would like to take a minute to thank them for what they do brilliantly every day in fulfilling their mission. My eyes have seen the glory of the trampling at the zoo. We've washed ourselves in his blood and all the mongrels too. We're taking down the Zog machine, two by two by two, the white man marches on. For those of you who think burning crosses and hooded rallies are relics of the civil rights era, think again. Lewis recently acquired Orton Plantation in his native North Carolina. Built by his forebearer, Roger Moore, in 1725. I reached for the Holy Book for answers. Now, as a Southerner, you have to realize when I say the Holy Book, of course, I mean gone with the wind. <laughs> gone to the the most basic and the most plain uplifting book or literature that has ever been written on me in our history. To get to the heart of it, we headed south to meet the Grand Dragon. They are known as the Invisible Empire for a reason. They thrive in secrecy, almost never permitting outsiders access. It's impossible not to think of what once happened here. 